Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna talk about how to automatically continue to build your email list the easy way. And the easy way is automation. So we are gonna show you how to connect a Google Sheet to Constant Contact and what you can do with that information. I'm also gonna show you how to connect, I'm gonna take one very basic CRM system and I'm also gonna connect that to Constant Contact just so I can show you how this works and you can get the concept. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna talk about how to automatically continue to build your email list the easy way. And the easy way is automation. So we are gonna show you how to connect a Google Sheet to Constant Contact and what you can do with that information. I'm also gonna show you how to connect, I'm gonna take one very basic CRM system and I'm also gonna connect that to Constant Contact just so I can show you how this works and you can get the concept. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. All right, so first things first, if you have not created an account with Zapier, please go ahead and do so. Now the Zap I'm gonna show you today is only a two-step Zap, so you can actually do this with a free account. If you have to do any filtering or any advanced steps on here, uh, you will need to pay, I think the base account's like 49 bucks a month. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, let's say you have contacts that you have worked with in the past and you wanna add them to a Google Sheet. Um, this works best with a Google Sheet, by the way. So even if it's on Excel, take that information, copy and paste it to a sheet. So I have a very basic sheet, as you can see, I set it up for Zapier only, and I just put some, some real basic information in here to keep this as simple as possible. Now with email marketing, unless you wanna use this list for something else, I don't recommend putting in addresses and phone numbers unless you wanna to try to connect this with texting or something. Just keep it name, email, and then if you have tags or you have you segmented your customers by residential and commercial or something like that i would keep whatever that parameter is so that way you can segment your list which is going to get you much a much deeper level targeting for your email sequences so here's our sheet so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect google sheet and so connect these things here once you go to your trigger you're going to find that spreadsheet and then you're also going to use that find the worksheet and you can find that information right down here at the bottom. So you can actually, if you need multiple tabs for multiple businesses or multiple, like if you're HVAC, plumbing and electrical and you wanna keep those lists separated, you can do that with different tabs. So we got that, we connected that and you can see this is the data that pulled up. So it's got my name, a fake email and just a tag, okay? So this will say this is a maintenance customer. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect constant contact. So I'm, for this, I'm connecting an account that doesn't work. It doesn't have a paid subscription, so we're not gonna get completely through and, and test this. However, what you wanna do is connect this, log in, and then you're gonna go to create contact. Go ahead and hit continue, find your account. And then this is where you start to segment your list and create the automation. You wanna find the list, okay? So you can create as many lists as you want in constant contact, for instance. So you go in here, you have your list, you can create a new list. You can call it whatever you want. If you have new installation, maintenance, service, um, you know, whatever, whatever your business model is, you can create lists for those things. And the more granular you get on lists, the better outcome you're gonna have with email marketing because you're gonna be sending hyper-targeted emails to people who want to read that type of information. So I'm just gonna use the general interest list. And then as you see here, there are a couple items that are required for this to work. One is the email. So when you get in here, as soon as you click in here, you're gonna see the options. So these are my options of the data that I can pull. We're gonna pull our email, all of this other stuff. One, the one thing we'll do is we'll put our name in here, even though that's not required. Again, you can put all this stuff in if you want. Leave this setting here as opt-in by owner and continue. And like I said, if this was live, this constant contact account, this would automatically go into the general interest list. So what that looks like, if you have a campaign that has multiple emails about your maintenance membership, or maybe every six months you send them an email about getting their service scheduled, you can have all that information in here and automatically create a campaign that attaches to that list. 
So now, uh, hopefully with this, you're starting to see the power in how some of this stuff, you can really get granular with some of this information. Next, I'm gonna take a CRM and show you the same exact steps. All right, so for the home service businesses that Relentless Digital works with uh, most of the time, House Call Pro is a very popular CRM. It's also not quite as robust on the API side of things, which is how we get the data out of one program into another. So I'm gonna use this as an example and some of the other CRMs have a little bit more data we can pull from, but I wanted to show you how this can work for your business. So you have two options when you set this up. You can either do a based on a completed job or a scheduled job. Okay, so you can do one or the other. Most of the automation we do is after a completed job. We send things like additional review requests, proactive referral requests, let people know that we are actively seeking more business in the area and we would appreciate if they let someone know about us. Educational email sequences, stuff like that after a job is done because my guess is if you're watching this video and you're new to email marketing, once you collect payment from that customer, they don't hear from you again and you forget about them until the next time they call or if something's broken. So this is a way to stay in front of your existing audience regularly. So with that being said, I use new completed job and I found a job here with some information. Now, one thing in House Call Pro, if you are watching this and use House Call Pro, the use of tags is super, super, super important here. As you can see, this customer has done a great job putting this stuff together because now we can segment his list. So let's get into constant contact. We're gonna create a contact, connect that. I don't have separate lists set up here, but if I did, we would probably match the list to the tags so that way we can have the same information add the email address which we find here and the rest of this again pretty simple we can add first name we can add oops first name it keeps popping up last name now one additional step that we could create on this is let's say we had a maintenance membership installation and demand service as our tags, just for an example here. We could create a third step and use a filter step. And what this does is it just allows you to filter and, and segment your audience before it gets to the constant contact step. So let's say we wanted to um, sort by those tags. So let's say we go into tags and we only wanna continue if the tags contain sold membership i'm pretty sure that's what was in one of these tags sold club membership now one thing you want to make sure is you do want to match this up so capital s club membership okay you can do this for other things you can add tag you can add the filter step so then we're going to go ahead and continue and this will tell you if your zap your test zap would have continued or not so now we know if that tag is on a job we can automatically put them in our sold club membership list. Maybe you send out a welcome packet via email or additional information about their benefits or terms and conditions, things like that. Um, another great example is if you sell a new installation or uh, maybe a, a new water heater or a, a larger job in your industry and you wanna send out some information, you wanna thank that customer, you maybe wanna send them um, what to expect on the day of installation, all of this stuff can be set up and optimized ahead of time. So this stuff runs in the background and it's almost like you got your own little marketing army doing the work for you, keeping your customers happy. And once it's set up, you don't ever have to do it again. So I hope this information was super helpful. This is how we have built the HVAC businesses that I have worked at. This is how I have built my digital marketing agency. And I hope you take something away from this. If you would like us to do this for you, get in contact with us at Relentless Digital. We'd be happy to help you guys. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel because we are going to go deeper with email marketing here in the next video. Take care and stay relentless.